modernizing a core banking system uh, in an existing well-established bank, it, it's a challenging endeavor. There is a lot of legacy systems that are uh, well-established and integrated into the existing operational processes. Uh, what is your experience and what are the strategies to uh, go through with the modernization with those challenges? Yeah, I think uh, the starting point for me is that it's key that the banks need to get themselves off of these legacy platforms, um, not just from a cost point of view, but also from support um, and the, the lack of functionality and capabilities that it gives them to evolve to the next step. I think in terms of uh, reducing the impact is there's different, different ways that we can approach this, lots of different uh, ways that our clients have done it and that banks prefer to do it. But I think the not approaching it from the big bang point of view is probably the best way. So looking to really understand when we work with our clients, um, we really need to understand what it is that they're trying to achieve. Is it they set up a new bank? Is it around migrations? What are those kind of key proof points? What is that end strategy that they need to get to? But in the interim, what do we actually need to achieve to help them support to get to that end piece? So the key area for me and for us within Thought Machine is to work with our clients to understand what do we need to do? How, what are those, are those proof points? And we approach that in terms of understanding where does, where does Vault sit within that world and look at the ecosystem and then understand the best approach. Is it looking at the financial products? Is it looking to standardize your existing financial products, showing actually how they compare when they run on Vault and the efficiency around them? Um, and then looking at the processes around it. So understanding as well the ecosystem that sits around. Are the areas that we need to support you with to understand where Vault sits in your current world and what that would look like in the new world. So I think it's breaking it down into those components and really looking at where do we see that value? Where do we need to get to in that whole journey with you to help support you get to the, the, the final result that you need from Vault? Yeah, very good points. And from my experience, uh, usually in the banks, when, when the, there is a core modernization going on, there are some champions of change. So a department, maybe technology, who is leading the change. Uh, and not everybody in the bank uh, is involved and understands the benefit. So I think it's very important to, uh, from start of the project, from planning, uh, to involve people from each team, accounting, uh, regulatory reporting, risk, uh, to get them on board and to get them to see the benefits they can get. Uh, to understand what are their challenges, how, how uh, their daily way can be improved thanks to, uh, to modernizing the core system. And, and with this buy-in, mm, these projects are usually, usually much more effective. We avoid any bottlenecks uh, with uh, some teams not having focus on this and maybe having their own roadmaps not in line with our uh, modernization endeavor. Uh, can you share some insight from JP Morgan Chase success story? How you help them uh, avoid operational chaos during this modernization project? Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the, the key areas, is, as you just mentioned a second ago, was buy-in. I think um, we've been working as part of our journey with JP Morgan is to understand you know, what is it they need to achieve in the short term and, and the long term and, and getting by, helping them get that buy-in across the company. So we work very closely with the technology partners at, at uh, JP Morgan, but also the business as well, really showing the value of what we bring and, and helping them on that journey to get that buy-in. One of the other things I think, you know, that we do need to consider is it's not just about reducing costs. It's not just about trying to improve the technology. It's more than that as well, not just supporting the existing business. It's taking it to the next step. So regardless of the reasons why a bank chooses Vault in their life cycle uh, from a point of view at that point, in, at that point in time, it's also understanding where do they want to go. So we can support their existing business, and we've proven that with all of our clients that are live at the moment and that we're working with. But actually, that next step is really looking at the innovation of how far we can take our clients to, to the future of banking, really looking at the opportunity that you now have within, within Vault to you know, really revolutionize the products that you're doing because you no longer have that limitation around technology. So I think it's working with, with clients, JP Morgan, and all of our other clients to really understand where they need to go and then how we can help them without those limitations of what they've currently got in their existing tech stack. You mentioned uh, focusing on some product lines. I think this is a very good approach uh, to avoid big bang and focus on uh, modernizing product, one product line at a time, maybe a couple of them, uh, to bring the value faster, to avoid chaos. Uh, we can utilize coexistence so Vault can live with, with legacy systems at the same time. Uh, and this is also an opportunity to bring in new pro products that were not uh, earlier available uh, before we fully migrate to the new core. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, we, we, uh, we offer a suite of uh, uh, pro products that are already pre-configured available for our clients and it just gives them the opportunity to show that we can support existing products. 
but you know, as, as I mentioned earlier, we have our clients that have over 200 product vari uh, mortgage variations uh, products at the moment they're supporting. Actually, you can streamline that almost instantly with what you've got, with what we offer within Vault. And I think it's showing that cap capabilities of this is what we can already do, ready to go for you um, to support your existing business. And then there's so many more opportunities that we can take to really innovate those products and then really offer something that's, that's exciting to consumers in the market. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Thank you very much.